Okay, hi folks. What we're doing today is putting in a tankless water heater where a gas type, gas fired regular water heater was before. As you can see here, we've already mounted our new water heater. But we have a small issue, and that is that our vent pipe on the old water heater was a double wall B vent type water heater vent. And our new one uses a PVC vent pipe. So what we're going to do is show you how we do how we handle that. Um, what we do is we take a three inch by two inch bell reducer like this, and we take a piece of three inch pipe about one foot long, and we uh, use the three inch pipe one foot long. And we hang it in the original flashing up here on the roof as you can see right there and that flashing I see it around all the cords but that flashing is there already so we're going to reuse it we're going to reuse the existing storm collar but we're going to use three inch pipe to hang in that then we're going to take this stop out of the top of this as you can see that stop right there it's kind of blurry sorry you can see that stop right there we're going to take that stop out of there and we're going to run our two inch pipe straight through that and then we're going to put a T on top of that. So I'm going to stop the video right here and we get set up and then I'm going to show you how I take the stop out and uh, just how simple it is to make this work. Okay, what we're going to use is this, it's called a ram bit and I'll put a picture of it in the video so you can see what it is in the package. I took a picture of it at the package at the supply house. It's a ram bit. It takes the takes that uh, stop out of the pipe. And I'll show you how we're going to do that right now. Oops, I forgot to take the deal off here. It has multiple sizes of uh, spacers and you have to take the spacers off I forgot to do that um, for the pipe for the kind of pipe you're working with we're working with PVC so this outside spacer here is too big so we'll take that one off we'll put this back on what this bit is designed to do is to take the pipe out of a fitting so that you can reuse the fitting again in the case where it's uh, you need it uh, you need the fitting doesn't get hung up like that. Okay, let's try that again. And that's how you do it. Now you can see there's no more stop in this in this uh, fitting. So our two-inch PVC pipe will slide right through that fitting now. now I'm going to stop the video again, and we're going to uh, get everything ready to put it through the roof. Okay, we're back, and as you can see here, I got my two-inch pipe, and I got my fitting, and this pipe now will slide right through that fitting. It's a little blurry because it's focusing somewhere else. I don't know why. But anyway, you get the you get the point of it. It's it slides through that pipe no problem. So what we will do is we'll put our three inch pipe on the bottom here. Uh, like this. This will go through our flashing right here. The flashing will be here with the original storm collar sitting right underneath here. Then we'll connect our pipe under a heater here. Put our sanitary tea on top here. That's what, that is what uh, Navian requires us to put on it, is a sanitary tea on the top, like that. This is our exhaust from our heater. And if you have two heaters, if you're taking out two tankless water, I mean two tank type water heaters and putting in one tankless, 
then you would do this twice. You would do one for your incoming air and one for your outgoing air. Because this was only a single install of the water, original water heater, we're going to take out um, the original vent and put this through there for our exhaust and our intake air will just come out of the attic. This particular attic has plenty of incoming air so it's not a problem. So we'll, uh, I'm going to turn it off again and we'll get it all set up and uh, then I'll show you the finished product. Okay, we're back. To make sure that we don't have any leaks, first thing we do is take the old storm collar, take all the old silicone off of it, we place a bead of silicone right around the bottom of the bell reducer, like he's doing now. just to make sure we don't have any leaks on it from, from rainwater getting blown in. Then we'll slide the, the uh, storm collar back on. You can see it squirted up through there. Then he's going to shoot another bead inside the storm collar just to make sure we don't have any issues. As I said earlier, we're using the original storm collar and the original flashing. See the original flashing right there. That's the original flashing through the roof. We're not changing that. So we use the original flashing and the original storm collar and just add all of our new pipe to it. And as you can see there are two inches going through the three, through the bell reducer, it's in his hand, and then there's a T on the other end. Alright, we're gonna stop it again and we're gonna put it in place and then we'll shoot another video of it once it's in there. Okay, and that's what it looks like when it's installed. You can see how it looks. It's just the original storm collar and original flashing. Our new pipe coming through it. it. Looks pretty good. Works well. Haven't had any leaks so far on any of the ones we've done. So, and I'll take a video on the inside. We'll put it all together. Okay, this is what it looks like on the inside. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that's what it looks like. It goes up through the same original flashing comes down to the top of the Navian heater. In this case, we're just straight up and down. And back up over here. You can see what the whole install looks like. You can see how it looks. So, there you go. I'll shoot one more short video of the outside. We put a bead of silicone around the top of the bell reducer where it hits the two inch PVC pipe so that no water leaks down there. And the final step is to put the silicone around the top of the bell reducer, like you see him doing there. That stops water from coming down the top of the vent pipe, or down the 2 inch, and the roof, and onto the top of the heater. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful.